Alright, so before we actually leave Kakariko Village, there's actually two more cool goodies we can grab here real quick. So you want to head over to the uh, Spring of Elden or whatever, and uh, you can actually combine your bombs with your arrows by uh, going to your item screen, hovering over the bombs, and then pressing the Z button to combine the arrows with bombs and allow you to make bomb arrows. With that, you'll see that there's like a tree that is up above the spring. You want to shoot the boulders that are uh, next, that are surrounding the tree, basically, and then it will reveal a piece of heart. So you want to use your Gale Boomerang to bring the piece of heart to you. And if you've been following the walkthrough thus far, this should be your 10th uh, piece of heart. So you should have uh, a whole other heart container because of that. So now we're actually just going to show you how to use bombs by themselves. You want to equip them and then put them on your B button and then you'll be able to uh, set them down next to this other boulder that is nearby as well. Now you can shoot this one too, uh, but I just wanted to show how that works. Now whenever you're using bombs, you always want to make sure you are away from where they're going to explode because if you are near the explosion it will hurt you. Who'd have thought? If you want to head into this new area, there's some cuckoos here, you can slash them up if you like to, but there's really no point. Um, with that you want to go ahead and jump into the pond or whatever that is behind the spring, uh, I guess into the spring itself, and uh, then you want to equip your iron boots to sink down. Now you only have so much air in here, so you want to be quick, uh, but then you want to head back here, open up the large chest to get piece of heart number 11. Woohoo! So with that, you want to go ahead and take off your iron boots, and then swim up to the surface. And you can actually, here I'm just holding A, and I realized about halfway through recording this walkthrough that you can press A repeatedly in order to uh, swim really quickly. So uh, I would recommend you that you just tap, 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 and just press the A button a whole bunch, and then you'll like speed through the water like a bullet. It's actually kind of sickening. I don't know, you shouldn't be able to swim that fast. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you want to go ahead and head back and uh, get on top of Epona. Now if you do not have her, she's not in the area right now, you can always play the horse grass that is right there near the spring, and this will summon her. So you want to get on Epona, you want to ride her all the way to the top uh, exit. This should be to the east if you're playing the Wii version, it'll be to the west if you're playing the GameCube version. And this will lead us to the Elden Bridge portion of Hyrule Field, and this is actually the same area where we had that epic horse riding battle with King Boldwood, and then later we were you know, doing the jousting thing on the bridge. Uh, this is that same area, and uh, now we can actually go around there without having enemies and stuff chasing after us, uh, Boblins, that is. Uh, so anyways, you can head there, and you'll, as soon as you enter the area and get a good distance in here, then the postman will actually show up, and he has two letters for us. Postman has quite the personality, uh, but in all the titles where there's a postman, he's got they're all quite quirky and have interesting little traits. <laughs> so this one's no different, so he's a silly person. Two letters we got. One of them is from Barnes. He's just informing you uh, of how to make bomb arrows. Uh, just a reminder. He told you when we talked to him, but a lot of you probably just kind of skipped over it and like, ah, whatever, give me the bombs. <laughs> so anyways, the letter is just a reminder, and you can always read the letter later and such. Um, but, you know, we're going to be using bomb arrows. You're going to have to do them later on uh, in order to get past certain areas, so... Uh, it's a good thing they gave us the letters so that we'll make sure that we remember. Uh, you want to go ahead and get off Epona, and there's actually some boulders straight ahead. You can use your bo newfound bombs to blow them up. So go ahead and do so, and you'll be able to climb up into this new area. So just follow it until you get to the end. Um, so here you'll see that up ahead there's some vines and such. You want to just jump over and climb up there. Uh, and here up ahead I'm actually going to use the Hawkeye to show how that item works. Um, you can actually use it to shoot things from range, to actually, to kind of make your bow act more like a sniper type thing to get some accurate aiming, but, um, you know, you just, it's easier to do that when you have the pointer turned off. Um, but anyways, so here I'm just going to use it real quick, you use the minus and plus symbols on your Wiimote to zoom in and out. Anyways, you'll see over in the distance there's actually a chest. Uh, we're going to go grab that here in a moment. Up ahead there's a boulder. We're going to have to blast our way through it, so we're going to need to use the bomb arrows that we just read about. So uh, we combined our bombs with our arrows by pressing Z over the ball, hovering over the bombs in our item screen. This will allow us to form bomb arrows. And so you just want to shoot the boulder that is across the way, jump across, grab onto the vines, and you'll be able to get up on top of this new platform. From here you want to hop down onto the other platform. I'm going to kind of play it safe and go over in this back area, because I don't want to fall down into the abyss, because that would be unfortunate. Uh, once you hop down here, uh, you'll be able to open the chest, and this will give you a piece of heart. Uh, and I believe this, if you've been following the walkthrough thus far, this should be piece of heart number 12. So, with that, you want to go ahead and hop down. Be sure, once again, not to fall into the abyss. So, I'm going to head back here a little bit, a little bit so I don't uh, run the risk of falling down there. Here, you just want to go ahead and get on opponent, and we're actually going to get two golden bugs that are in this area. So, you want to... Uh, Head forward over here. You'll see that off on the left a little bit, uh, there's a golden bug right here on the ground, a little golden speck off to the right. 
Uh, there's some card rocks around here. Um, they're kind of a pain. You can shoot them with your bow and stuff. They're actually, I think they die one hit and you use a bomb arrow right there. Uh, you can just shoot them. Uh, just make sure that you're standing far enough back so that the explosion doesn't hurt you too. Uh, but once you've defeated them and all, you want to go ahead and go grab the golden bug. And these ones are actually, some golden bugs uh, will fly away and such if you get close, if you're, especially if you're running. But they also fly and hop around normally. So this one, for example, this grasshopper is kind of flying away quite the distance. In order to get close to them, you kind of have to sneak up on them. You can also use the boomerang to bring them to you. Um, but anyways, yeah, you want to just walk slowly up to them and then press A in order to grab them. So this is the male grasshopper. Uh, there's a new enemy here. I'll be talking about them here in just a moment. Now you want to head over to the northeast corner of the of this portion of Hyrule Field if you're playing the Wii version. If you're playing the GameCube version, it's probably the northwest corner. Um, but up here, you know, the weather actually usually turns bad, like it starts raining and stuff, but um, I don't know. For right now, it's actually not doing that. Maybe it's just because it's so close to the night or something. Up ahead, you see that there's a gold bug here off on the right. Let's go ahead and hop off of Epona, and here there's a new enemy here called Leavers, and these guys, I guess they're supposed to be plants, I'm not really sure what they are, but they speed up and slow down, and every once in a while they kind of zip towards you, but in general they just kind of circle around you. Uh, but they're kind of pretty frustrating, and they're kind of random, I guess. Uh, but just wait for them to slow down, you can run over forward and smack them. You could also probably use the Gale Boomerang to like stun them for a moment, or you can shoot them with arrows or whatnot. Uh, you can probably use the slingshot too. In any case, you want to pick up the female grasshopper that is nearby, and uh, you might have to walk up to her kind of slowly. You can also use the boomerang to bring her to you. Uh, and with that, you want to go ahead and head towards the Bridge of Elden. Now, those enemies' levers, they're actually in most of the Zelda titles, uh, actually. Uh, I think there's, like, the only ones that come at the top of my head that they aren't in is just the Wind Waker, and I think Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks also don't have them. Uh, but they're in basically every other Zelda title, so pretty cool enemy that are pretty well-renowned. Once you make it to the Bridge of Elden, if you're on the south side, you'll see that there's a, a golden bug right here on the arch here. So you want to use the Gale Boomerang to bring it to you. This is actually the male Phasmid, so pick that up. And a Phasmid, by the way, is just a it's like a stick bug, basically, which is exactly what that looks like. <laughs> uh, but a Phasmid is like the order or whatever, just before you start getting down into species and, you know, all that. So it's like the upper class, whatever, of uh, that great that's type of bug. It's just the stick bugs or whatever. So, uh, with that, you want to go ahead and head to the north side. There's actually the other the, uh, counterpart, the female Phasmid, is up here as well. And these guys, uh, this one is right here on this wall up here. You actually, you actually can't get up on top of that platform yet, um, but you can use the Gale Boomerang to bring the Golden Bug down to you. So, you'll see that she is up there against the wall. She might be easier to see at night. She's, you know, gold and shiny, so. Uh, but, anyways, once you finally bring it to you, then you'll be able to pick her up. This is, like I say, the female Phasmid. Yay! So now we have all four of the golden bugs that are in this general area. So with that, we're ready to continue on. And now make sure you're done with everything you wanted to do in the previous area, because now we are stuck here um, on this side, as you'll see in just a moment. You want to use either bombs or bomb arrows to blow up these uh, boulders. And I'm going to go ahead and use bomb arrows, because I can. Woo! With that, then this will initiate a little cutscene in which a portal appears directly above the Bridge of Elden, and it will then zap the bridge and make a portion of it disappear. So that's unfortunate. So now we are locked on this side of the bridge, and uh, after it sucks it all up, it will take it to another warp location. Uh, we actually have yet to be at yet. We'll actually see it much later in the game, and we'll be able to bring it back. So don't worry too much about it. Um, it's basically a big inconvenience, but we will be able to do something with it later. You'd think that, you know, Zant would have, you know, grabbed that bridge before we actually got on this side of the bridge. That would have really hindered us a lot, but he didn't. So you can kill these shadow beings and everything using the, um, using the bomb arrows. You know, just want to be careful because uh, if you attack, like, two of them or whatever, and then you leave one, then they'll all resurrect or whatever, and it's just a pain otherwise. So there, I just killed one, and I'm going to kill the other two using my sword. Once you've defeated them, this will cause the, um, has the portal to come under your control, and we'll be able to use it later on to teleport around. Right now, we're in our human form, we can't do that, but uh, anyways, just cool. We, later on, we'll be able to warp here. This is actually a very useful warp location. We'll be using it uh, several times later on. Uh, with that, you want to go ahead and continue working your way north, and uh, up here, there's actually some Bulblins. It's Bulblin archers. You can just smack right over them while riding a pony. It's kind of fun. I like purposely like to uh, trample them. With that, you want to continue working your way onward. Uh, after you get to a certain point, then opponent will just stop and she won't go any further. She's scared of it. Um, 
With that, you want to go ahead and get off and want to approach the Wall of Twilight. So Mendo, while that uh, appeared, she will say, oh, you're finally there. And she will also remember, or remind you that uh, once you enter here, that you will not be able to go back for a while. So um, she encourages you to go in there because we need to get the last piece of Fuse Shadow. So. And that pretty much concludes all of our preparation in this area and everything. So go ahead and head forward and enter the Wall of Twilight. And that concludes this video. So go ahead and join me for the next couple videos. We'll tackle the Lanayru province in Twilight. Woohoo!